is all a lie, all caught up in paradise. Hey guys, welcome back to the Brotherhood of Dirt. Today we are out in the maintenance shop. Real quick. It's a fucking mess out here. So, we'll do a rundown, a walkthrough, a full tour, and another video. I know sometimes some of you like to see what kind of gear I'm using, what kind of tools, what kind of supplies, what kind of stock. We'll go through all that. Another time. Right now, man, it's just... Ugh. I mean, there's just shit everywhere in here. This place gives me anxiety. But, uh, I just wanted to talk to you really quick about the TACPO. Brought her to work today, ran her through some, you know, minor, minor, minor chores. Some outlet switches, door handles, hung some blinds. It really didn't do anything that heavy duty. And, you know, for what I did do, she still has a full charge, which is pretty crazy to me, seeing how it's a brushed motor. But, it's cool. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, for what I did do, I thought it would at least knock off one bar. But, I mean, wow. And when I got here, I was looking around, and I came across my old 12-volt Bosch brushless drill, which is, like, my favorite 12-volt drill of all time. I mean, for what I do for MRO work, for appliance repair, for electrical installs, for a, pretty much any light duty drilling and driving job this drill is is perfect it's well balanced it's got power it's the batteries on this fucking thing last for days i mean bosch's 12 volt batteries are superb they have an outstanding life it's it's pretty much the best 12 volt battery efficiency wise in my opinion I mean, this thing's just a beauty of the drill. I love that thing. But I was looking at them, and they're about, you know, the same size. They're very similar in, in build, you know. The, of course, the Bosch has a brushless motor, the Tecpo. Again, you probably see the fireflies chirping away in there. But the bell clips are in similar spots. They both run the pod style battery. I mean they're pretty similar. This one I think comes in at about 1500 RPMs. Maybe just under 200 inch pounds of torque. This one's chugging along at 1300 rip ohms and 265 inch pounds of torque so I mean this one I mean 265 inch pounds in a drill this size is killer to me that I mean that's outstanding to have that much power and that little and that compact of a tool I mean even if I don't know I just I just think that's cool even if the batteries don't last as long as maybe the brushless do. I still think for $51, remember, $51 this drill costs. For that amount of money, you'd still be getting one hell of a drill. Definitely no Milwaukee. But let's take a look real quick at what this thing can do I just wanted to show you and then compare it to the Bosch really quick I mean they're pretty similar they're not exact 
I keep saying that. I know I'm repeating myself. But. Put her in speed. Two. With a Torx bit. I'm going to run a three inch construction screw. No problem. One more. No problem. I mean, it's pretty smooth. It's, it's effortless. As far as driving it. I'm not going to initiate the clutch. I'm not going to do any of that. We're just going balls out. Just to give you a quick idea of how, how well it does. There's the Bosch. Same thing. Full bat. Speed 2, 3 inch construction screw, Torx. And it's, it's basically the exact same thing. Effortless driving. That's a beautiful thing. Go 2.5 inch deck screw. That's speed 2 still, I mean. You can't really go wrong when it's that simple. You know, it's just put it in, drive it home, put it in, drive it home. It's not struggling. See the tech bow. Doesn't matter. Continuously. So it has three bars. Now, what else do I got in here? Four inch timber lock. Speed two. Drill mode. Cuts out. I'm gonna pop it out. Uh, I put it down to speed one, just, you know, just to see how she does. I mean, you're not going to be using this drill to run four inch timber locks at all. And if you do, you're fucking crazy, because you're, you're going to kill your drill before it's time. Actually, let's do the Bosch. Let's just see how the Bosch does. I'm going to put the Bosch in speed too, and if it doesn't drive it all the way, then, you know, we'll be able to see that it's, you know, they're pretty neck and neck. Yeah, see, I mean, the Bosch has similar results. The thing is, though, and the beautiful thing is, though, if you're not... If you're not married to brands, if you're not, if you can see past the tech pole, whatever the hell that means, if you can see past that, $51, $109, or whatever, it's over, when I got it, it was like a buck fifty, two batteries, charger, and drill, buck fifty, fifty. A buck, a buck fifty, my bad. A buck fifty. Fifty. I mean, you're not getting the same build quality. You're not getting run time. You're not getting any of that. course but you guys you guys see my point I think we have to step away from these these big brands sometimes and, and venture out and see what else is out there because there are and there is such thing as quality besides Milwaukee 
besides Bosch, besides DeWalt. There are tools out there that can do the same jobs. I'm just going to see what we can do. It's a one inch stair double bit. not going to be doing that all day with these things either. But it can do it for $51. Finally, we knocked the bar off that um, battery indicator. So yeah, I mean this really doesn't show you at all a drill's capability. It's, it's, it's a really... You're, you're like flirting with the drill's capability doing that task. I just wanted to show you, and then that's the only way I have to show you what the tech boat can do. And I think, compared to the Bosch, it's a good drill. It's a decent drill for $51. Now, will it hold up? I don't know. How long will it last? I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that test that I just did, just the driving of a couple of screws, does that really provide you any insight on what this drill is able to do? I don't know. We just know that it can drive screws, right? That it can handle a one inch spade bit. I like it. I think they made a hell of a product. Let me know what you guys think. Techpo. We still gotta look that up. Have a good night, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.